Welcome back to my Let's Play for Moemon. It's time to make our way to Vermilion City. Which, honestly, is probably just going to be comprised of a lot of Pokemon battles. I don't think I'll be hitting up the SSN just yet, because I want to get my Pokemon Vault into Primeapes first. I don't think Bruce or Rama are going to really take on Kadabra without being fully evolved. <sighs> Kadabra's just that tough and scary. Kadabra's always been a menace, even in Generation 2. Generation 2, you could argue it's even worse because you can give Kadabra easily Ice Punch so it can now go to slaying dragons and Murkrow, one of the few things that actually has a type alignment that makes its psychic abilities useless. I guess you can always throw in Thunder Punch too to get around Hound Doom, and then you there you go, like you're mostly set up, or take Fire Punch and Psychic. You know, you can set yourself up to basically run rough shot over everything with a Kadabra in that game. You might have to exchange out the elemental punches every now and again though. Start with Fire Punch for um, Jasmine. Then you don't really have to worry about Steel ever again, practically. <sighs> it's sort of sad they introduced the Steel type, but there's very few trainers that really use it. I suppose you got a few Magnemites and stuff here and there, but not that many. They don't pop up that often. I guess most people just aren't very big fans of the Steel type, at least for the NBCs in the game. Not entirely sure why, but... Is what it is. Maybe most people just can't find them. Let's face it, there's only a small handful in Gen 2 to really mess around with. Same thing with the Dark type. They don't really pop up until later in the game, so if you are interested in the type, you can't use it until you basically get to what some would call the post-game content. So the place you're going to find, like, Hound Hour and stuff like that, so you can check out this type that's meant to nerf psychics. It's a bit disappointing, to be honest. Oh, he's got a Squirtle, eh? Level 20, even. Well, let's cry chop it. Ow. Not as bad as I was expecting, but... Eh, whatever. So we'll take that 400 Poké Dollars. Turn that into something. Yeah, well, I interrupted all right once by fighting your um, friend over there, so let's duel also. Oh, uh, Ratata? I feel sorry for you. This isn't a really fair fight. Do have at least one with Quick Attack. Assuming she knew it. What? Pikachu? Ooh, it's Pikachu. Honestly, I would have went with Double Team, but Pikachu's got pretty bad defense, so... Whatever. Ah, darn it. I didn't pick up any Paralysis heals, I don't think. I did buy a few Antidotes, because I'm getting tired of being poisoned to death. But, but Paralyzed heals, because I um, ran across on the ground somewhere. Let's see. Oh, I got one I picked up somewhere. <laughs> Let's use a little medicine. Get Bruce back up into fighting shape. And right across another bug trainer. Jeez. Will you at least have some evolved bugs to throw at me rather than the generic Carapine Weedle? Finally, a Butterfree. Oh, yeah, Mega Punch. Poison Powder? Are you serious? Really? Why not Gust or Confusion? What's the trainers refusing these moves that could take me down quickly and easily? I know we're almost through, but whatever. Drop a Super Potion. Yep. Drink up that mess in. Or is it in a spray bottle? Either or. I should have a few antidotes in here somewhere. There we go. I wonder what that stuff tastes like. Does it taste awful? If it tastes awful, I don't actually feel bad giving so much medicine at all at once. Ah, uh, still two more to go, huh? Well, let's play then. Three, huh? And we're starting off with Pidgey! Oh, with this level of disparity, let's just go with a Karate Chop. Well, it's over. Oh, 
What else we got? Another Pidgey. Okay. You're pretty boring so far. I don't know. I mean, it could be at least a higher level Pidgey if you're going to use this many. A third Pidgey? Come on. And they're all the same level. <sighs> that was boring. <sighs> you bore me, Isabel. You really do. I guess we can talk if you want. I wonder if they'll ever make a fighting version of Eevee. I mean, they're sort of running out of ideas at this point, aren't they? But it doesn't feel like a proper Pokemon generation unless you got some variant on Eevee somewhere. Oh, that's why I get for using Mega Punch, I guess. <sighs> Just cry chop it. It's a Sparrow. It's part normal, so it's not like I'm going to lose any real damage output. Oh, right, Cade. Goodbye. You think these guys would be tougher after Misty, right? Like they'd be a bit closer up to being on that level at least. Instead, they're much, much weaker. It's, it's a bit disappointing. Like you expect more out of the um, NPC trainers after a relatively difficult boss to get past or something, you know? And they just seem to really dip in level for no real reason. Uh, I could make my way to the SS Anne, maybe, but I think we'll head over over to this route, Route 11, and start clearing out some of the trainers here. This should hopefully push up my Pokemon up high enough to at least get one Primeape up and ready. After all, Bruce is close. This is a bit more like it. Level 21. And they used... Intimidate pretty well. But I might be able to end this fight before it really pays off. I may have to switch out. Oh, he only had one Pokemon. <sighs> Go figure. Ekans really doesn't work well by itself. Like, it's meant to be like a leadoff that you then switch out for something else that can take advantage of the opponent's decreased attack power. Win, lose, or draw, huh? You want to play a little gambling game, huh? Oh, it's Poliwag. Probably should have just went with Karate Chop. <sighs> well, really should level 28, so that's as high as we need to really get Bruce. Let's switch over to Rama and let him have a piece of the action. Of course, not a question is what do I use? Let's just go with Pride Shop. It's, it's water after all. Another Leer? We went better off launching some stinking bubbles. You're going down, horsey. At least if you launched the bubbles, you would have hurt me. Ooh, a big payday. Well, I'm not going to refuse. Normally I would, but. I don't want to be disadvantaged by not evolving at this point. I would need that additional attack power and stuff to hopefully get the one up on Kadabra. At least that's the hope. Maybe. Um. No. Let's let's not. Honestly, what we've seen from Mankey so far is it doesn't do a very good job taking hits for at all. So the last thing I want to do is have a move whose power is based on surviving hits. I, mean, I guess you can make it work if you start off with like Atkins or something, but that's not really an option with this team. So we're just gonna have to work with what we got. I really need to switch leads here. Forgot about that. Oops. Yeah, I'll switch. Honestly, that image sort of looks like Meow's. Well, there wasn't always that much variety when it came to the um, designs when you were looking at the um, roster itself directly. 
Oh, there goes Magnemite. What's he gonna finish this with? Will it be something cool? Oh, Magneton. Not a bad pick. Not a bad pick at all. Though apparently it's still slower than me. But it took the hit at least, I guess. And follows it up with a tackle? And it missed with it? I mean, don't... It's odd enough it'd go with tackle attack. Like, you don't know any electrical moves. At all? Like, like, you get rid of tackle as soon as you're able to, man. Shoot, I've the switch again. Crap. Oh, it's a bell sprout. Huh. Well, let's mega punch it, I guess. Uh, take the 324. Switch. We're gonna have to use Fury Swipes here. Not my favorite move. I tend to have really bad luck with it, actually. But it's what we got. So I need another three hit. Unless I want to start using some leers here. Well, that worked out all right. Well, took out Jasper, which rhymes with Casper. Hmm. More if he knows the ghostly trio. Jeez, probably it looks like it's constantly upset. <sighs> Let's go. Even if you raise them carefully, it doesn't mean they're going to be able to stand up to my pure offensive power. <sighs> Let's see what she got. Nidoran! Aw, oh, man. This sucks. I hate fighting Nidoran. It's always so annoying. Fury swipe it, seriously. Oh great, I got poisoned in the middle of my Fury swipe. At least I killed it, I guess. Okay. We'll just go out with trying to outright kill it. Focusing. So it's getting pumped for a critical. Great. Oh, that was nice. Oh, two criticals. Even better. <sighs> Goodbye, Nidorino. Well, that takes care of Dave. The smeghead. At any rate, time for a little messin'. I swear I never had to use this many poison antidotes in any of the other runs. Oh, next defend? Like, that's gonna really help. <sighs> Just leave Ekans alone right now. Laying down some cables, huh? So he must be another electrician. Or an engineer, or whatever. Level 21, eh? Oh, let's try a karate chop. Magnemite must have really terrible physical defense. I suppose if it's part steel, though, it can make up for it with a lot of resistances, but fighting is not one it's resistant to. That was electric. That's the best you could come up with. <sighs> You've never lost before, have you? <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna have to break that streak. Dirk, like in a dagger. Oh, Voltorb. <sighs> Speed, little devil. bag. If it has, um, 
Sonic Boom, now would be a good time to use it, so... Ah, lower my defenses. Gotcha, gotcha. By two stages, no less. Uh, what's, what's up next? If it's a Magnemite, I'll just leave you in. I think I can take out Magnemite before it lands a blow. Well, it's set up for um, a lot of damage with Screech, but couldn't deliver. Magnemite's too slow. Hmm. Ooh, a great ball. Put that in the ball's pocket. Let's do it. You train every morning? <laughs> Technically, it's 10 night right now, so it's not really morning. Level 17. Well, my advantage here is seven levels. That's more enough to end this quickly. The only thing you guys are good for at this point is grinding to push me up to evolve. It's sort of sad. <sighs> or that means my rival hasn't gotten that much stronger between matches either. I suppose it's possible. Let's drop this Rackade and get moving. Okay, level 25. Alright. Good luck with that. Oh, you can move. You've never won before? Well, you keep trying. I guess you'll win at some point. Darien? I don't make me think of Sailor Moon. Great, it's like Growlithe. It also has Intimidate. Mm. Karai Shop. Let's go with Dark type move on a Fighting type. Not a very bright NPC. <sighs> like, don't you know Ember or something? And we're bringing out Vulpix. I sort of wish this was a fire run. Got a soft spot for Vulpix. Oh, alas, it's a fighting run, so no Vulpix for me. I don't think I could justify its existence on my team even as an HM slave. Oh wow, we found an escape rope. That's that'll come in handy. Well, is there anything we missed out here? Any trainers left? Oh, we missed one over here? You just became a trainer, like, just this very moment. You think you stand a chance? Man, who did you go to get your Pokemon from? That professor is pretty nice to give you two. But let's do this. Well, not bad. Not great either. Zubat. Hmm. I don't like doing this, but at the same time, it's it's Zubat, so it's got a lot of resistance going for it. I guess I always Fury Swipe it. But I like throwing a Mega Punch at something like this. I don't know. Nope, you couldn't win, even with Enthusiasm. Well, I'm pretty sure that's it at this point. I don't think there's anyone left on Raw 11 for me to mess with. So yeah, next time we'll be going on the boat and trying to get eight of the HM cuts so we can make our way to um the local gym. Until then, see ya.